I'm gonna open my, uh... You see that there? See it! See it! God! Alright. So, uh, first I'm gonna show you, before we get into this, um, my dashboard. No, not my profile, my dashboard. See here? It says streaming configuration quality acceptable. See here? It says Ah, no, not my voice. Don't see that. Details. Maximum keyframe interval is currently 2.88 seconds. Please set it to 2 seconds. So this is the recent change that XSplit has implemented where you have to meet certain specific um, streaming settings in order to be compatible with portable devices like your iPad, your cell phones and such because it's the next thing. It's the next big thing with Twitch. It's just gonna double, triple, quadruple their hit count when it's available on uh, mobiles. Anyways. So if you do not reach acceptable or excellent, which is the one higher, you will not be compatible for portable devices. And in fact, Twitch is going to be eliminating where you ha where it's going to be a strict setting that you have to reach in order to broadcast on Twitch. You will no longer the people with uh, slow internet connections Good luck, you're going to have to have a monster computer to co uh, to compensate for it in order to stream on Twitch in the future. Because if you're not streaming in HD quality, you will not be able to stream on Twitch, period. In the next few updates or whatever. But I read that on a release note somewhere, someday, sometime, somewhere in the past. Who cares? Don't look back. Let's look to the future. Okay, so now that we've seen this, it will the details will always tell you what you need to do in your settings to get it to acceptable or excellent. So you got that, at least Twitch, but it's o only found in your dashboard at the moment. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we'll go back to OBS here. Boom, settings, let's go to settings. Oh, well we can go here too. You can click either or. All right, encoding. This is mine. Compared to what you got, I'll let you look for a bit, for a couple of seconds. You see any differences from what you currently have as the viewer who's watching this with your OBS open up in front of you? Do you see differences? I will show you. Speedtest.net. I will do a live speedtest.net testing for you right now. Even as we are streaming, a live streaming speed test. Boom. Apparently, my, apparently my internet is a freaking slow because it's taking forever to load the freaking page. <laughs> Begin test. Here we go. Look. That's where I'm located. Oh my god, you guys can see where I live. Ah. Boom, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, Jesus. So fast. It's gonna bust this thing. Right into the pyramid. I peed, see, I, my big pee? Into the pyramid. So that's 
Now look at your, do yours. You should be, you should have done your test at the same time. If not, I'll give you a couple seconds to look at it and compare speeds. I have a very fast internet speed, and very fast by meaning I can have three Twitch channels going at the same time. My Facebook up while I'm live streaming World of Warcraft in the middle of a BG and not DC. All at the same time. That's how fast my internet connection is. So I'm not trying to brag, just saying that's fat. Okay. So you see that, you see it, we saw it. Okay, good. Back to OBS. 2100, this is the important one. And what I do is I double it up. Double it up. You can do the on uh, XSplit, and I'm sure they even have the free version where you can, uh, they have the new, uh, setup wizard. Just go by what they give you for your setup wizard for your maximum bitrate. Do it and, and copy it, copy the same number into OBS. Mine was 2100. And then over here in buffer size, you double the number. Double 2100 is 4200, obviously. Don't ask me why you double it, it just works best for me when I double it. For quality wise, or smooth streaming, if it doesn't work for you, then what I advise for you to do is to start at 1000, 1000 on, on both sides. Just start even it out, because that's kind of the default that they used to have back in the day, but lots have changed since then. And just go up by 500s. Try like 1,500 and maybe try double here or maybe just try the same thing again. You know what I'm saying? And just keep going up. Preview your stream. It really helps if you have a second monitor or a second computer or somewhere where you can preview the quality of your stream as you're doing the settings. Because you're going to go live a lot and stop, preview your settings. If not, you also have the recorded uh, part of Twitch channel. Right here, the recorded part that you can just go back, see what you recorded, see if it's better than the last recording that you did when you tested it out with each setting. That is uh, the setting that is you're going to be fiddling with most is maximum bitrate and buffer size. I know I'm going on and on about it, but that is the one you will be fiddling with most with numbers just to fine tune it. It is the most important part. It has to do with how much internet you are going to be putting forth towards streaming to your live audience. Quality balance is locked because now Twitch has a use CBR, a strict CBR setting. So you're going to want to have these checked. Anything with the word, the letters CBR in it, you're going to want to have checked because that is the strict new Twitch settings. So when you have that checked, quality balance will now be unshaded and you will not be able to change it. Audio codec, if, if you're having, if you're really, really struggling for quality and you need to skim back on something, do not skim back with, um, with the with the video encoding, try first with your audio bitrate. Maybe lower it to 112. Maybe lower it to even 96, because that also takes up bandwidth and resources, etc. All right. So before you go fiddling with this compromising, try this first. If it doesn't do the desired effect, reset it, and then go from there. Make sense? All right. This one, again, you're gonna, gonna wanna go on XSplit to see which one is the best one at the moment because it's always fluctuating, which for me, it's it always changes for me between Chicago, LA, and LA secondary. Depending on what night it is. But what I do is I go on XSplit and if you're familiar with XSplit, there's a thing and, and you just drag it down just like this on here. But it on the on the side here on the right, it'll have the average speed, the current speed that it's at right now, so you'll be able to choose. 
you know, Leo Steven. So I just... Today, Chicago's the good one. It's the lowest ping. You're always going to want to choose the lowest number. And on XSplit, it'll be highlighted in green, and the bad connections are highlighted in red. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Your stream key path, you just copy-paste it from your... What is it? Streaming apps? Yeah, right here. And you just press show key. And it will... Show the key. I'm not going to show you my key, because then you can just copy it from my channel. <laughs> so streaming as me, and we're just not going to have that now, are we? <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty much it for settings. Um, video for here, um, see right here I have frames per second, you can fiddle with that too. You can start at 25, I suggest if you don't have a powerful computer like I do and a fast internet connection like I do, you're really going to be struggling for quality. Um, so try... 25 for the uh, frames per second. I could probably go all the way up to 60, but I don't need to because games work at freaking 30 frames per second, anyways. Um, that's my uh, that's my resolution. Why is there no 720? Kind of odd. But anyways. I can stream at 920 by 1080 on 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 OBS. On XSplit I can't. I have to stream at 720 by whatever it is. The 720p. Because XSplit uses too many resources. So that's why you should use OBS. Because it's free and it uses less resources, so that you can actually get better settings than you would at, with XSplit. Word? Word. Oh, and there's the buzzer to end my tutorial on how to twe tweak your settings on your free OBS live stream Twitch. TV. WWG TV! <gasps> Don't forget to click that follow button, you freaks! And that's the tutorial that I will be highlighting for my wonderful fans all across the universe. The multiverse, even. Was that informative? Yeah. <laughs>